Starting off the base, we enter a basic simple airlock. Going to the right, you go through a couple more doors and to the main part of the base. Right here we have a loot room with three furnaces. Going to the left, we have two vending machines and a box for extra storage, with making a simple, easy walkthrough. Right next to the vending machines is TC, with two boxes on top for additional storage. Tier 3 is next to the main loot room with three boxes and three more furnaces. Going back to the main entrance of the base, going to the left this time will lead you to an oil refiner that's hidden within your base. Alright, to start the build, place one triangle low scram, place another one, two risen one right in front of it, fill it like this, put another risen one behind it, put a wall right here and here, fill in the rest with walls until you get back to the TC, place a half wall right there and a half wall right here, seal everything off, and place your door. Garage doors will be the final form, but for now use wood or metal. Now what you're going to want to do is place triangles here and here, place your TC in the bottom. Now to get metal cooking, you want to place three furnaces in this triangle right here. They should fit smoothly as long as you don't upgrade the foundation. Place a box right here, box right here, box right there. Place two small boxes on top of the TC. Now see all the TC. And bam, that is your starter right here. Now, it will take time to get the reinforced glass window unless you have BPs, and it should be uh, pretty easy. Now what you're going to want to do for the rest of the air is just fill it up with frames. Like I said, this can be anything, but final form will be garage doors. Now that your starter's done, you want to place three triangles to the left, one of them being lowered and the one after it risen. Fill this in with walls, except for right here, you want to place a double door frame. Put another garage door. Do the exact same thing you did right here, to here. Fill this in, lift up door frames. And that is the core of the base done. Now we will work on the exit which is pretty simple. Three triangles going outward to the right. Two door frames right here. Wall, wall. You can make this a wall or a double door frame to look outside. I prefer to really do this. Seal everything off once more. One more double door frame for a garage door. And you have the core of the base. Now we will add the honeycomb to make this a more stable base. So you're going to add a honeycomb here, base it around the entire thing. For these two foundations, what you want to do, once you have placed these furnaces right here and here, upgrade these to high fall. And you're going to want to make sure no one knows that these are high foundations. Just put some extra triangles around it, like this. Then take some walls, just seal them like how you normally would. You don't you don't have to do these if you don't want to. You have to do these for sure. But those ones you can if you want. Now finish off the honeycomb. Pretty simple. Seal these up. Oops, did not mean to do that. 
now for the top, you just want to seal everything else off. Like this. And that is the entire base with honeycomb. Now to upgrade the core, most of it's pretty simple. You want to make the two loot rooms next to the TC. You want to make these walls high qual. And if you if these are like hard to get to, you can always pick up a box, but it should be pretty easy. The roofs of these this one right here, you want to make these high qual as well. Now everything else in the base will be the uh, sheet metal because this will make it 28 rockets for raiders to get to the TC. If you want, you can spend the extra high qual to make this meta, uh, high qual, but you have to do it before you add, you know, this up here because you won't be able to reach this no more. Like the moment you put this on, you cannot reach this right here. You also want to make sure that this is sheet metal as well. But yeah, everything else in this space becomes sheet metal. Ignore what is sheet metal right there. That was my accident. done we will add all the extra items like workbench, sleeping bags, and bending machines. Alright for the rest of the space to work you want to put the tier 3 right here. This can be said for tier 1 or tier 2 but tier 3 will go right here. Large box underneath it. I like to put a medium sized battery so I can do you no know, lights or maybe a turret if you can figure out space for this. Now for the vending machines the way you're gonna do this is you're gonna have them face inward this way. You want to get as close to the wall as you can. Place that. Then you're going to want to place a small box a little bit from it, like this. Now this one's a little tricky to get with because you got to make sure it's straight, which there's no too easy method, but you want to make sure it's straight. And that you can walk through fine and easy. And if you do it right, you can get it so that, you know, you can have your second man hidden right here so that if he has to go afk you know you can hide right here no biggie and if you place these thing if you place the vending machines close to each other just the only way you'll be able to access them is to the side like this which is fine either way so yeah storage right here and you can place sleeping bags all over here now this is a solo base that i use personally you can do a duo but it's gonna be tight for everyone so that's just the only thing i have to say it will be tight for two people Three peoples, and you cannot do this with three people. It is a no go. But yeah, that is the rest of the inside of the base. You can design it, you know, throw boxes where you think you can. Personally, this is the best design I've come up for it. You can also put a locker right here if you want. And yeah, that is it. Now, for an additional uh, little tidbit. You can add a oil refinery to the side of the base right here, and I'll show you how to do that right now. So what you're going to want to do is you want to take a foundation like this, twig this part exactly right here, because this part is not needed, like that. Then what you're going to want to do is seal everything off. Place two door frames like this, like that, and like that, so it makes an airlock. Now you're going to get your oil refinery. And it should fit in here pretty easily, it's got to get it lined up right. So you can do it either any way, most of the time it works. Just like that, and bam. For an extra couple K stone, you can have an oil refinery right next to your door. Alright, for the pillbox, the 
raid cost for the base for all going through all the doors to get all loot including the TC would be around 22 to 23 rockets going through the back side of the base opening up these two walls right here this will get you for around 20 rocks will get you both main loot rooms and then another eight rockets will get you TC for around 28 rockets going through the walls if you don't want to go through doors but going through doors is cheaper since it's only around 23. It'll get you TC. This, the two main loot rooms right here, and these vending machines allow you to pick up tier 3 as well. The building cost for the pillbox is around 20k stone, 5.6k metal, 180 high qual, around 22 gears, and 7k wood. 